You already know that X is undergoing a ton of changes right now. And if you're a creative entrepreneur or starting your first side hustle, it would make sense to know about these changes so that you can implement them immediately. We jumped on X and asked you guys what you wanted to see and what questions you wanted answered so that we can help you on your audience growth journey. So I've got them all here. Let's dive in and I'll see if we can answer them for you. Question one is from Aditya Josie and he says, does it affect your reach if you use the word Twitter in your content? Short answer is yes. If you're using something from an old brand and they're trying to rebrand something, it would make sense to just leave anything to do with Twitter, tweets or retweets completely alone. It follows along the same lines as using any of the other competitive brands to X. Using the words Twitter, Meta, Instagram, YouTube on the platform is probably going to get that post deprioritized and you want to give your post the very best chance of succeeding. So we would say anything to do with competitors and anything to do with the old brand is a no-no for sure. Question two is from Yannick Vase and he says, how can I stand out in a world of AI generated content? If you are a person who is sharing generic tips or something that can be searched on ChatGPT or any of the other artificial intelligence apps, I would suggest that you're not really sharing anything of depth or anything of real creativity. The real worth comes from storytelling, unique perspectives or going really deep on the area of expertise that you actually have. Combining all these things will stand you apart from any artificial intelligence search engine and will make you a creator to watch. Question three is from Maverick and he says, are hashtags still relevant? I heard some people say that they don't matter anymore. If they're still relevant, how to use them effectively and in a proper manner? This is probably the question that we get asked the most in our mentions and we would say, unless you're in a group, just don't use hashtags. They don't work, their aesthetics look terrible and people tend not to engage with a post that has got a hashtag on it. Hashtags are just not relevant anymore. People do not repost stuff that they don't know the hashtag of and no one even searches them anymore. It's just a bad idea all around. Question four is from Chuck, Black Belt Leadership, and he says, like me as a white belt creator, I'm only focusing on showing up every day, commenting and replying, and hopefully adding value, learning storytelling, building his swipe file, two threads per week and three tweets per day. What am I missing? That is quite a big list already. You're doing some really good stuff. The only thing that I'd say you were missing is an element of storytelling, telling your own unique perspective, and then tying that perspective to some of the actionable tips that you've actually done. What you've already got there is a great strategy. Three or four tweets per day, two threads per week. You're well on your way to growing the audience, Chuck. Question five, and Burhan Patel asks, how beneficial is X Blue really? Well, it was Twitter Blue and now it's X Premium, but Elon has given creators a ton of extra features so that you can benefit, which will help you with your audience growth. Tools such as reduced ads and the ability to add longer form videos and long posts with bold and italics make it really, really advantageous for you to be able to stand out on x.com. And where the currency is time and attention, if you can flag yourself as somebody who's using tools that are slightly different than everybody else you see, then you're gonna get your content noticed. So if you are serious about being a creator on x.com, we would suggest getting verification and investing the money so that you have access to those tools. But if you can't afford it and you don't want to make the move now, we don't see it being that much of a difference if your content is really good. Question six, and Rohit Gulam asks us, does it matter what time you post or does great content do well overall? Well, it would make sense to post your content when your audience is awake. So if you're in the UK and you post something at two or 3 a.m. in the morning, you're probably not gonna get that good engagement. But if you make sure you're posting something around about lunchtime, 2 p.m., and you spread those posts out, over a period of time, you're gonna see what does well. And it would make sense if a post does really well at a particular time that you start looking for those signals and posting at a similar time every day. Great content speaks for itself. And if you are posting good content, then the right people are gonna see it. Question seven is from Santosh and he asks, do threads still do better than long form content? Well, it's still too early to say at time of going to press, but both long form content and threads seem to be doing really well at the moment. But we foresee in the future, things like photos and videos and just using the platform to its full potential is gonna be very beneficial to content creators. Now, the final question is Karentit asks, how to easily find the best X accounts followed by most people in your niche? Well, super simple is to go and find your favorite creator and have a look in their reply tab. You'll see all the people that they engage with regularly and the other way is just to see who they're following.
following. If they've decided to follow them, it's highly likely that they're a creator themselves and they'll have similar interests. So two ways there, jump in their replies and then jump in who they're following. And if you wanna know how to grow your audience in as quick a time possible to a thousand followers, then jump on over to this video here and I'll show you exactly how to do it.